Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to be making a picture of a snowman using perspective. You can start with any size piece of paper, but you're going to want to make it into a square. You might need an adult help for this, but um, I'm just going to take one corner of my paper and fold it up to the top edge. Your paper is probably going to be a rectangle shape to start with. I'm not going to crease this because I don't want to put a fold line in my paper, but I am just going to trace down the edge of this side of my piece of paper so I know where to cut. And then I'm going to cut it into the shape of a square. So I'm going to draw a snowman in each corner of my square and you could use some kind of circular object to trace this um, but i'm going to draw kind of a larger circle and then a smaller circle and i want to make it look like i'm seeing the snowman from a bug's perspective like i'm on the ground looking up so i'm going to start in each corner using a pencil first and after i'm done i will trace it with a sharpie to make the outlines a little bolder and you can make some of your snowmen different sizes. I'm going to make mine all roughly the same size. So I just drew kind of the section of a circle, like I'm just seeing about a quarter of the circle showing. And this will be the middle section of the snowman's body. So I'm going to draw the head um, kind of sticking up over there. And I don't want to draw a full, full circle. I want to make the bottom edge of my circle look like it's being overlapped. So I'm going to draw again like maybe three quarters of a circle kind of sticking up and if any of your circles do touch you'll want to practice overlapping you'll want to decide which one's it on top and make sure that one is completely visible now from here i could add other details for example i could add a scarf i could add um, a hat, anything that I'd like to my snowman. And if I do add something like a hat, I would want to make my lines curved over again so it looks like I'm seeing from a kind of a bottom perspective. So I'm going to draw kind of a pom-pom hat here with some stripes. If you wanted to draw kind of like a, a top hat, you would want to draw kind of the bottom of the top hat showing. So I drew kind of a long oval here and then two lines straight up and a second curved line here. Um, now, if I were to make this hat come up a little higher than where my other snowman's head is, I would wanna make it kind of disappear so it looks like it's being overlapped by that snowman's head. And you can add accessories to your other snowman too. Um, if you're adding a scarf, let's see, I'm gonna turn my paper here. Um, if you're adding a scarf, you would wanna make it kind of Kind of curve across the, just the top portion of that middle circle and then you know you could make look like it's kind of wrapped around and part of the scarf is coming down you can add some stripes um, and then i also want to add faces to my snowman so i'm going to put the eyes kind of high up since i want it to look like i'm looking at my snowman from underneath and i'm just kind of seeing the the very um Kind of bottom edges of the face. When I draw the carrot, I'm going to draw that in perspective by starting with a curved line that kind of comes to a point on the side. Making it shaped like a cone instead of a triangle makes it look more 3D. And then I can draw other parts of the face. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could even add um, a shadow on the edges of these circles to make it look like they're three-dimensional as well. Just kind of drawing like a almost a crescent shaped shadow kind of coming out from the edges there. I'm going to go through and add faces to all my snowmen and I'm also going to add circles to that middle section of their body. I'm going to start with when I draw the one near the bottom of the of the snowman I'm going to make it bigger and then I'm going to make the the ones above it slightly get smaller so it looks like they're getting farther away from me and I'll repeat that step on all of my snowmen along with their faces any other details I want to add and you could put different things on your snowmen they don't all have to have um, coal eyes and All right. 
right, so I finished drawing my snowman and then I went ahead and traced everything with my Sharpie. And I also used a gray colored pencil, though you could use a gray crayon as well, to add some shadows to the edges of my circles. So this makes my circles look more like spheres, like they're kind of three-dimensional. And the way I did it was just kind of by um, pressing harder along the Sharpie line, along that black edge, to make a darker value, and then slightly, gradually getting lighter as I move away. So making a medium value and then a really light value that just blends into the white. I don't want to color my whole snowman, I just want to give it some shadows. And I skipped the parts where I had something like a scarf or a hat that was covering the snowman. And so now I'm going to use either crayons or colored pencils to go through and color all my accessories. So things like my stick arms, my hats, my scarves, my noses, um, anything like that. And you definitely could add some shading to these objects as well. Now here, wherever I have these little holes, I can fill those in black or gray to make them look a little darker. So it looks like they're kind of sinking in too.
So for the last part, I am going to add some details to the background. And remember that um, since I'm going really fast and I'm kind of skipping some parts and going um, ahead, you can always pause this video to catch up and then start it again when you're ready for the next step. Um, so I'm going to pick, I picked out some kind of blue-ish and purple-ish, definitely cool colors, um, to add some stuff in the background. And I want to use markers. Um, after I add um, in some colors of the markers, I'm going to go over it with some water. So I have water and a paintbrush ready. So I'm going to add some kind of like swirly lines like wind, winter wind in the background. And I don't want to draw over any of my snowmen. I'm just kind of adding some spiral lines. You could do wavy lines too, going different directions. And I'm going to use several different colors. So I'm going to switch. The more marker you use, you want to kind of fill in this empty space. The more marker you use, the more colorful your background would be. So I want to get plenty of marker in here. I'm just going around everything I drew, but being careful not to go over anything I drew. Just going to add lots of little lines where I have space in between. Now you could leave it like this, but I'm going to add one final step. I'm going to take some water and just kind of paint over my marker and kind of let it bleed together and blend together. And this will kind of create more of a, a sky in the background. I want to be careful not to go over my pencil or my crayon, but the nice thing about um, using pencil and crayon on the snowman is that those both of those things are kind of waxy so they'll sort of resist any water that might get on the edge you just want to make sure that you don't get too many puddles because that will start to drip so every once in a while I'm just kind of reloading my water here pulling along my edges and bleeding that marker together now there you could, this is something we've done in class a lot, you could even sprinkle some table salt into the wet um, puddles and it kind of creates um, almost a crystal effect as it dries that makes it look like they're snowflakes. And that would be a cool step to add. And if you decide to do that, you'd wanna have your salt ready to go as you're doing this because it only works if the paper's nice and wet, like shiny wet, puddly when you sprinkle it on and it does take a few minutes to work so you'd want to let it dry all right so now that i've finished my background my project is complete and ready to hang yeah.